journal. Watch in the night, they are as the sleep. In the morning, they are like grass which grow it up. In the evening, it is cut down and wither. So teach us to number our days. shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He restored my soul. He leaded me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Lord, thou hast been thy dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountain were brought forth, Even thou that formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction, and say, Return ye children of man. For a thousand years in, my, in thy sight, but as yesterday, when it is past, and as a watch in the night, 
Thou carried them away as with a flood. They are as sleep in the morning. They are like grass which grow it up. In the morning it flourish and grow it up. consumed by thy anger and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before our secret sins in light of thy continence. For all our days are past way in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are three school years and ten. And have by reasonable strength thy be full school years. Yet is their strength, labor, and sorrow. For it is soon cut off and fly away. Who knoweth the power of things? And even according to thy fear, so is thy right. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto it. Return, O oh Lord, along to the days where thou has afflicted us and the years when we see evil. Let thy works appear unto thy servant, and thy glory unto thy children. Let me, let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Ye the work of our hands establish thou it. He that dwelleth in secret places of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortune. My God, it, in him will I trust. You may be seated. We are here to celebrate the home goal. Brother Witherspoon. We did not say. Can I get a witness? Amen. I said, We're here to celebrate. Amen. To have gotten the full score.
So we want to be rejoicing today. It's all right to share tears. There's something good about our tears, because the Bible tells us that Jesus said he would wipe yes, away. He will. Amen. At this time, at this time, as I said, we come to celebrate our invocation. Father, it is in the name of Jesus. We come now to say thank you for the many blessings that you have already stored upon us. We thank you today, Lord, because of our laying down last night and uprising early this morning. We thank you now that we come to celebrate the life of Colonel Witherspoon. And thanking you for all that you have done. From the rocks of hill and our Father, we ask now that you have your way in this service. We now we ask that you would move the man servant and do what you do best. We ask you to give this family. The assurance that you said in your word, you will never leave them, nor would you forsake them. Yeah. Have your way today. Let everything that we do that it pleases you. You get the glory. We thank you for being a part of the service, but you got to get the glory, Father. Because all the praise, all the honor belongs. Amen. 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 And what? Amen. 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 At this time, we are prepared for him.
I want her to know I too. I too. Huh? We we will be fishing the rest. I thank God for this. Pastor Rose thought it was not robbery to call a little farm boy to help. But that's what it's all about. Because we want God to get the glory. Amen. At this time, we will ask that Pastor Jones will come and do the Old Testament, followed by myself, and the New Testament. And then we do tributes, get the truths there, and the Buddhist from Junior, Ernest. Name it on there, but I got to tell you, he's coming. Mm -hmm. uh, Pastor Moore will be coming in his own way with tributes as well as the selection. Is that right? I thank God for <clears throat> I can do this in. Uh, Amen. I know. My redeemer lives. I believe I heard David say in the 23rd Psalm, David knew that his redeemer lives. Because David said, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me in the path, leads me beside the still water. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. This is what he said. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thou rod and thou staff. They comfort me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They comfort me. That prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thy nuns, my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, yes. surely, yes. goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life. David said, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. Old Testament, 23 something. Amen. Amen. To God be all the glory. To the family, just know that the Bible said, absent from the body is present with the Lord. Amen. 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 And words are compassed from the New Testament. From 1 Thessalonians, uh, some of Paul's writings give us assurance that we that know the Lord is okay. It says, But I will not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep. Yes. Hallelujah. In 2 everyone of us which are in hope or have hope of the Lord. Amen. Amen. He said believe that Jesus died and rose again. Even so also which are asleep should Jesus bring with him when he comes. For this I say unto you, brethren, that of a sleep. For this again I say to you, the words of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord should not prevent those that are asleep. For the Lord himself should descend from heaven with a shout, 
with a voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God and the dead which is in Christ. Hallelujah shall rise first. And we which are alive remain should be caught up with the Lord in the air. Amen. 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 We are so blessed to have our pastors that are here that came to be a part of this home going. Pastor Katie will come down. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we come once again yeah. in thanksgiving for life, health, and strength. We thank you, God, for this family. We thank you for the life of Ernest for the Lord. We pray, God, that his life has touched someone yeah. that they might come to you, oh God, just by observing how he lived his life. Yes. And then, God, we thank you for his children. Yes. Yes. We thank you, oh God, for this church family, for the pastor, Pastor Grove. We ask, oh God, that you look upon him as he comes with the words of comfort. Yes. That this family would take the words that he brings forth When they think of earnest, oh God, they'll think of the smiles. They'll think of the sometimes the tears they may have shared together. But if we all enjoy, and the joy of the Lord is our strength. So we thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus for everything you're about to do and have already done. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Let us all say amen. 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 Again, we want to thank Pastor Anthony and Pastor Katie for being obedient. Let me, let me, let me, let me come in. Brother Witherspoon, reading the obituary, he read for trivia, but I want to share this with his family. His wife and I was classmates, so he became a part of that 1967 graduation class. And we, we always looked forward when we would come this way. He always had encouraging words when he would say to me, I said, yeah, you know, you're part of one of the best classes that came from the other side. I didn't say the best. I said, that's how you cover this stuff, you know, Joe. You cover it up. Because you, 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 you get to be saying one of these, you, you the best, the enemy will start coming, but when you say one of them, it could be 19. <laughs> Again, we would ask now that Deacon True that will come. And, and then Brother Ernest Jr. will come. Following. I don't have him, but we. Cemetery, you have to be at a certain time, but but y'all do that, bro. <laughs> yeah, you you get a chance. Oh, let's see. Good afternoon.
Presbyterian Church. You have Sister Tim Anthony to where I want to comment. You know, sometimes I ask myself the question, why me? I react to God. Why do I get called sometimes to speak to the mentors? And I told him, I said, I'm like a Moses. You know, I don't talk that good. I, I don't really study. He said, I gave Moses Abraham. I gave you the Holy Spirit. Amen. So you said, Hallelujah. So you stand up and do what you're going to do. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I met Deacon Ernest probably about 10 or 20 years ago. When he came from the Valley, Valley, he hit the ground running. Yes, he attended Sunday school, a Bible study concert, you know. And he had some uh, interact with us in Bible, Bible study. And uh, you know what? Deacon Ernest was a faithful servant. The Bible tells us that the labor, the harvest is plentiful and the labor are few. Ernie was a, one of those willing workers. He worked. As long as he was able to enact his health and strength, you know, I think he became a, he was first a trustee, he became digging in the major superintendent of the Sunday school. I can say every Sunday morning, he made sure that the PA system was working. He made sure that he could have it on, on, on the on what the facility. He did pretty much everything. And when he was healthy, he cut grass. He did everything. And uh, he was a willing worker. And I would like to say to Sister Tony, he was his partner. I know you when at the end when his health started feeling, you had to assist him in bringing him in. He did a lot of his work. You know, when he couldn't do it. I seen time at the end where he could not, he was out of breath, he could not pray. But he was ready, he was here. He was always willing, he made himself available. And he would call one of us, or someone might go up there and open up a prayer. But he was here, and I said, I would ask him, I said, Ernest, uh, you all right? He said, yeah, I'm good. He said, just a little bit out of breath. That's why I said he kept the faith, and I know he did. And one of the members, the missionary, asked me, uh, I mean, told me to look, Two or three of us said, uh, when I first heard the news of Deacon Harvest, she said I was in the store and I bust out crying. Because she said, the lady in the store asked her, so why are you crying? She, she just lost a faithful friend of the day. You know, so that's how much he took people. You know, he always talked about young people. He always prayed about young people. That's all he talked about, more people get their act together. He always mentioned them in prayer. Young people, young people. I was I know, uh, I believe the deacon in my heart that the deacon uh, earnest us, as the Bible tells us, actually from the body of trouble with the Lord, I believe mean, the spirit is with him. Provided we live in Christ, it only gonna happen if we are born again and live right. So when we die, the Bible says we live again. I believe it. Yeah. So I think deacon earnest is all right. The yeah. sister Timmy, I know it's gonna be real far over here. Man, that's a lonely night, but that's okay. We know God said, I will be. When your husband leaves you, I will be your comforter. I will be your everything. Just keep the faith and keep calling on him. Amen. And I pray that the family here will stick with you. They might not be in different phase, you know what? Because we don't know unless we've been through that. And you know, I know you're strong. I know you got a strong face around you. You got a strong church family. So I just want to say, he was a friend of mine. Uh, and I believe that Paul said, you know, how he ran the course. He kept the faith in that he fought for the fight of faith. So I feel good about it. Now I just take one more, three more thing, one more, a couple more things. He's uh, he been missed already. So last Sunday, you know, last Sunday, you know, we used to him being up here, you and him. If somebody had to jump in, and if not, he'd just be empty. He been missed already in the church. Yeah, yeah. Now I can imagine what you're doing at home around the house. You and yeah. him, you know. So I know you're gonna definitely miss him. I was telling the preacher about hey, he just left him, but it's we missing something. And it's good to be missed. It's good to be missed. That means somebody loves you. Yeah. you know? yeah. It's, yeah. it's a good thing. You know, and I, and I believe that deep and honest, everybody loves him. Yeah. Because of his, his faithfulness. 
So anyway, I would like to say just we're going to keep you in prayer, family. Pray the church will continue to pray for us. Amen. 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 Dad, I would say he was a friend of mine. Hallelujah, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah, God, Lord. You're so worthy to be praised, God. Hallelujah, God, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, God. I'm not going to be long. I ain't going to sing. This is your day. This is your day. <laughs> We can have a good time now, but you know I'm up here. <laughs> oh, glory be to God. Yes, I'm just sitting up here. Um, I got to do the square work of God. Yes, Lord, I have to talk about my father and, and how the things that he did. But while I'm talking about my father, I have to look at the duality of things, the white and black things as, as we are traveling through the level of time. We are not perfect. We are not perfect. But God is. And as we're traveling through this time, we're going to make mistakes. We're going to sin, and so, which is representing the black, but then we're going to be also in the white. We're going to do good things. But we have to strive. And as we are striving and giving it to God, and letting it go to God, what that person had done to you in the past, you got to let it go to. Because that person had, had let it go to God. But see, see, see what, what, what it's what doing, I'll just need a little bit of time. Just, just a little bit of time. What you're doing is you're putting a curse upon yourself because you don't have because you're not forgiving. People done gone past and gone to the Lord or whatever they gone to and you still holding on to stuff that they did in the dark and they done gave it to God. Right now, what we feel in is that we miss. This, this is a duality to it because we, we miss Ernest, my father. We miss him. We miss him. But on the other side of it, we got to rejoice because he's with God. Right. Yeah. God said it's time for his suffering to end. He's in a better place right now. Amen. I want to thank my brother and sister Camila and Tanner for coming. I appreciate that. But when people mess up in life, don't hold it up against them. My father, at the end of the day, he transformed. God is a refining fire in the field of soul. Let God be a refining, refining fire in the field of soul in your life. I wasn't like this. Y'all looking at me like, oh, you know, I wasn't like this when I was young and traveling through, through the level of time. I wasn't, I wasn't like this. But God is a refining fire and fill us up, and He did the same thing to, for my father. And I just want to tell you all, before we have the time, I love you all. Don't, don't wait to, to the end of the day. Don't wait to the end of the day. When that person is gone, tell them that you love them now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So when you get to a place like this, you won't regret it. Yeah. 
Because he did all that you can do with the little one. Amen. My father, he wanted me to, to preach it like that. He wasn't the same person. He wanted me to preach salvation and preach it. Amen. God bless you all. All right. First, I'd like to thank the pastors and all the members of the church for the phenomenal job that you've done honoring my father this morning. I do thank you all. I'd also like to thank all the people that have attended this service this morning, um, friends, family. It's a true testament. service and dedication that he had that you were all here. It's a very virtuous estimate. I have a special thank you to my wife, Beth. Thank you. Um, my mind has not been where it should have been this past few days, and I thank you for being my life and guiding me through this story. Thank you. Thank you. There are a lot of people here thoughts for way too long, way too long. So today, thanks to the wisdom of my siblings and also my wife, I like to address those issues and I like to do some of the Bible quotes. So please bear with me. I'm not a religious man, but I am a spiritual man. I like to quote Proverbs 17:9, which says, love prospers fault is forgiven, but dwelling on it separates the close friends. I'm going to repeat that so everyone hears. Love prospers when a fault is forgiven, but dwelling on it separates close friends. Amen. Amen. I add that it also separates families. Yes, yes, right. So with that being said, 
Dad, I love you. <coughs> I forgive you. And I hope you forgive me. I look forward to the day where we can talk again, <laughs> go fishing, and even if it's in silence, just to share some time with you. So, with that being said, I do believe this is a day for celebrating. So, let's celebrate. Amen. 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 At this time, we will have choir to give us a selection. Let's continue to celebrate. God is what? Real. All the time? All the time.
This time, we will bring none other than Pastor Moore. Some of y'all may know him as Mel. <laughs> the brother of <laughs> And my freak. Hallelujah. This is very hard. Of me. He was 
I remember before he got in the family, Reverend Grove and I gave him a hard time. He was dating my sister-in-law. So, uh, but that was one of the best decisions, Tina, that you made in your life. Amen. He said, yes, Deacon Marcus. I'm going to ask Deacon Mack when he come. In this life, I know that Ernest has some good days and some bad days. But through it all, he wouldn't come for you.
that in the days to come, Satan's going to try to sift you, but you just hold on. Amen. Everything's going to be all right. Amen. Ernest kind of left us unannounced. Whenever I get to heaven, I'm going to tell him about that. <laughs> He could have told me, he could have told me something. God, God gave me some, 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 God gave me something to say to him before he even left here. And I thank God for it. Going to look at a word this morning for just a little while from the book of 2 Timothy. Chapter number four, a very familiar scripture to most of us. And it reads, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord the righteous judge shall give me at that day. At that day. All right. And not me only, mm -hmm. but unto all oh. them oh. Uh -huh. also mm -hmm. that love his appearance. Yes. Father in heaven, I come in the precious name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Yes. oh God, I thank you for this special day. Yes. Thank you. To celebrate our dear brother that's going on home to see you. And God, I thank you right now. God, as I stand at the sacred desk, as I always say, Lord, not allow me to say anything unlike you would have me to say. But God, allow me to preach your word. The one that you had given to me. And God, I thank you right now. God, I thank you for your son, Christ Jesus. He was the one that died on Calvary's cross for sinners like you and I. It is in the mighty name of Jesus that I pray. Let the people of God say amen. 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 Paul, one of the greatest missionaries that was on earth, and he went from place to place, but when he came to his end, he penned his word at 2 Timothy 4, 7 and 8. I want to use for a thought this morning that we can carry with us. I believe Deacon Witherspoon would say that my fight is over. All right. Servants. Speaking God saying, serve it. Well done. Amen. Amen. God wants us to experience peace mm -hmm. instead of anxiety, even in a time like this. Right. Come on here. I thank God that He had given me the strength to stand here this morning because it's a difficult task. Whenever you have to stand and speak over someone that you love dearly. Amen, amen. God knows that we love him here at Pleasant Valley. Amen. But family, as I often say, I want you to understand that life is just a cycle. All right, all right. We live, we born, we live, and we die. Romans even told us when we come into this old wicked world of sin, there's going to be trouble mm -hmm. all around us. Mm -hmm. Job said it best when he said, man that is born of a woman, come on, come on. have but few days, yeah. and all of those days oh. are full of trouble. Oh. I know that Deacon Witherspoon went through some trouble, trouble days, and he went through some good days, but the thing that I know about him, that he never once walked away from God. Yeah. Yeah. Regardless of what was going on in his life, he stuck right 
good God. Amen. I say that quite a part of a lot of times when, when the devil began to sift us and ride us from day to day and time to time. We want to, the first thing that some of us want to do is walk away from God. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. The one that has the answer no. to all things. Oh, yes. But we read about Paul. Come on, come on here. Yeah. All the marvelous things that he has done. We know that Paul was a true servant. Yeah. But I stand here this morning, can I tell you, by the man that I know. Come on, come on. One by the name of Ernest Lee Witherspoon. He is a generous man. Yeah. Yes, yes. He is a man with integrity. Uh -huh. yeah, come on. A man that you can depend on. Yeah. I want you to know if if you if you if you need needed somebody to depend on, you could call on yeah. Deacon with a school. Yeah. He was a man that had a lot of love for the God that he served. Yeah. And I thank God that we had the time to spend with him. He is a man that loved his family. Come on, come on. Not only that he loved his family, he had he was a true servant of God. Right. And I thank God right now today. A man that had a heart. And especially for the young black men that's in this world, he had a heart for them. And he often, I don't care what service he in and when he was praying, he was always praying for those black men. Yeah. 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 He said, Lord, take care of those young black men that are doing all these things yeah. in the world today. Yeah. Every time. That's the man that I know. Deacon Witherspoon had, had fought a good fight. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not talking about a Muhammad and Ali fight. Because the Bible tells us we are not fighting against flesh and blood. Uh, we are fighting against the principality of this whole world that we live in. I want you to know, church, we, know we can't see who we are fighting. But I thank God that his word pours them out to us. I want you to know this morning that he fought a good fight. When I'm talking about a good fight, he fought when he was in the valley. He still was fighting for God. When he was on high hill, he still was fighting for God. He fought a good fight until the day that he drew his last breath. And I thank God right now. He couldn't do it without all Mighty God, he fought a good fight. When things went wrong, he still looked to God. And I'm glad this morning that he knew the God that he served. He fought a good fight. Not only that he fought a good fight. In the passage of scripture, he said, he kept his faith. In other words, he kept on serving God. No matter what happened in his life, he still found joy in serving the Lord. When he found himself on the sick bed, he still found joy in serving God. When he didn't know which way to turn, found himself serving God. He kept the faith. I want to tell you, family, even when he was in his sick days, walking in the Pleasant Valley Baptist Church, and you say, how you doing? Deacon Witherspoon. He said, brother, I'm doing all right. Everything is all right. That lets me know that he knew the God that he served. Right here at that table, whether he was being 
bad. I, you never complain about it. I, I thank God for the word. I, because he did have some good things. I, and he had some bad things. But you would never know. I, because he did complain. Yeah. He kept the faith. Because he knew that was, there was a crown that waiting up for him. But he kept the faith. And I thank God that he lived a life that befitted to be a king and to get his crown. And I thank God right now. I know Brother Witherspoon, he was saying to me right now, he said, Pastor, I fought a good fight. But I want you to tell, I want you to tell my family, I want you to tell my friends, I want you to tell the well wishes that Jesus has made preparation out not only for me, but he made it for them. Until you change. 
change come. Thank you, God. Said I'm home now. Yes. It ain't nothing but joy here. Yes, yes. But let us live the life that's befitting and worthy of going to see our Creator. The one that made us. And he thought about it. When he made us, he said, let us make man. In my image. I want you to know the church. Know the departed church. What night of when he first created man. Was a spirit man. You read your Bible, you'll see. And then he scoop up the dust from the ground and blow the spirit of life in man. I say that to say this: his body went back to the dust, but that spirit that God put in him. Yeah. <laughs> 